Exercise has many benefits for women beyond maintaining a healthy weight. In today's Medical Minute, I talked to Dr. Davidson from Salzer Health about why women should just keep moving. How important is it for women to have exercise in their daily lives? Exercise is very, very important in our daily lives for a lot of reasons. Of course, we all know about the what I call the cardiovascular and metabolic benefits, meaning it reduces the risk of heart disease, lowers your blood pressure, lowers your blood sugar, lowers your cholesterol. Um, but what maybe some of you didn't know is that um, it decreases the risk of some cancers, specifically breast cancer, uterine, and colorectal cancer. Um, what, what can we do? Everybody wants to know, what can I do so I don't develop Alzheimer's? Get out and exercise. Um, exercising can decrease your risk of dementia by 50%. Wow! Even people who are showing some cognitive problems, it can slow their rate of decline by getting them out and getting them moving. It decreases depression, and of course, that's been a huge thing. It, stress and anxiety the last few months with COVID-19. Over the age of 85, women who fall or break a hip, one third will die within a year. So it's a very significant thing. And if you can improve your balance and your posture with exercise, you're gonna decrease your risk of fall and decrease your risk of having hip fracture. I think people are probably wondering too, um, how often should one exercise? So the recommendations are moderate aerobic exercise for 150 to 300 minutes a week. So that is basically 30 to 60 minutes per day, five days a week of moderate aerobic exercise or 75 to 150 minutes per week, which would be 15 to 30 minutes a day, five days a week of vigorous exercise. So basically five days a week, roughly 30 minutes each time, and then throwing in a couple of days of strength training in there as well. Okay, so you mentioned strength training, which leads me to my next question. Are there certain activities and types of exercises that we should really be trying to do? You want to find some form of exercise that you reasonably enjoy doing, because if you don't enjoy doing it, you're not going to stick with it. Okay, and if someone's led a rather sedentary lifestyle, how do they go from the couch to having that active lifestyle five days a week? You start out slow. Um, you, you win by setting achievable goals. So if you've been doing nothing, let's say, say you make a goal to say, I'm gonna walk for 15 minutes twice next week. And you do that because that's very achievable. And you do that for a couple of weeks and then maybe you move it to 20 minutes, three times a week, and you gradually increase from there until it becomes a part of your daily life and daily routine. Great, okay, and we are in a pandemic though. So how do we work this in during this challenging time? Well, we're getting into the cooler time of year and so it will be a little bit more challenging. When it was warm, we could go outside and walk and hike and bike. And some people may continue doing that, but for a lot of people, um, it will be indoors um, that they will want to do something. So there are lots and lots and lots of exercise videos available online and on YouTube. But just walking up and down your stairs um, is a great way to get some exercise. You know, if you've got a little child, lift them up and down. Um, that's lifting some weights, um, doing different things like that um, to help you get your exercise. So where can people go to learn more? So if we will have um, a couple of links on our website um, at salterhealth.com. If you go there, uh, we will have some links posted.